just about to set up and we've got a dipper in already fishing at the top. Um, doesn't even give me a chance to get set up. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful spot here. So the dipper is still feeding now. I haven't really had a chance to get set up properly here, but um, it seems to be quite occupied at the minute. It's just straight into a dipper, superb. So guys, the dipper's been um, feeding lovely just in front, probably about 20 foot. Um, I just captured some ultra slow motion at uh, 250 in full HD then of it just behind the rock, just preening itself, cleaning itself, um, which was lovely. I'm in a, I've got a, a nice ground sheet down, ground mat down at the moment stop myself getting so wet i'd like to get a lot lower so i'm really i'm on the water's level so it's quite deep here and there's quite a drop off so it's going to be a bit difficult but where i'm shooting at the moment the stream here then suddenly rises up so i'm almost at a level um, of, the, of the dipper i'd like to get a lot lower to be fair but um could be a little bit difficult, so have to go with what we got and maybe move along a little bit later, try to find a lower spot. But uh, that's just fantastic. First thing this morning, spending time down. In fact, it's just at the far end now on a big rock there that I showed you yesterday when I was doing the recce um, with all the poo on it. This must be its favoured territory here. What a lovely way to spend your day. Just captured a nice shot there of uh, the dipper. It's quite, quite a distance away, but nice in its environment there. I've captured that one and thirtieth of a second. Mm -hmm. Dipper's just flown down river. Such great birds. So I captured that and it actually looks fairly sharp. And I'll just put up on the screen next of that shot. Um, obviously only seeing it on the back of the camera, so I can't be 100%, but it looks quite nice. I'd like to get a, a closer shot um, with a lot more of the motion blur of the water, but you've just got to capture it in between the dips. 
obviously if it's dipping quite quickly, one and thirtieth, it's going to be blurred. So you need to sort of capture that bit when it's static. Um, yeah, so quite pleased. That's that's a you know a nice shot, something a bit different. Um, I really want to get lower. I really blind me. But uh, I really want to get lower, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to here or not. But it's like dipper central. I've seen a few dippers going up and down. So, and when they're flying, they're very observant on the bank. So it's kind of always a really good idea to, when they do take flight and they're coming towards, duck your head, just keep still, wait for them to pass and then resume. But, and hopefully then they haven't seen you and they will be back. Um, lovely, really, really pleased. So I've decided to change positions now. Um, I'm on like a, a slope. So I'm like facing down like that. It's a bit uncomfortable from the back, but uh, needs must. So I'm now lovely on the water line now. And it's, uh, you can just see the flaps of the water with a lot of bubble in front. And then the rocks are just sticking up and you get the dipper just on the edge of the rocks. That's the idea anyway. Um, gonna give it a go for here for Half hour, hour, I'm gonna day with the dippers, so plenty of time, and then I'm gonna make my way up the river and try some other locations. Um, but this is a great little spot, so we're gonna give it a go. The dipper was here yesterday when I did my recce, and um, it tolerated me, so hopefully, it'll be back in and uh, do a bit of feeding, and we get some great shots, hopefully, all been well. Um, weather's supposed to have been like bright sunshine today, but it's really quite overcast, but that's actually quite nice, it's not, then when it comes to the sort of the fullness of the day and it's not overly bright and too bright and it washes everything out, it's quite nice actually. Um, and I'm shooting here about 800th, 1 800th of a second ISO, about 4,000. So um, not too bad, not too bad. So uh, sit, quiet, be patient and uh, hopefully we'll get the reward. So I'm set up next to a, quite a, a well-known walk for people. And there's quite a lot of people and dogs mooching past. It's actually, as much as it's a bit of a distraction and you get the dogs jumping in the water a bit now and then, which is a bit of a pain, but hey, you know, they've got just as much right to be here and it's not exclusively mine, but it's quite nice because the dippers that feed here quite frequently actually get used to people to a point. And I've seen a dipper here, people walking past and the dipper's quite happy. As soon as the dogs get in the water, obviously the dipper's gone. But um, pros and cons there, really. You know, I, it's a nice open bit of space. There's a nice bit of light coming in now. Beautiful through the um, all the autumn fall on the leaves there. Beautiful. Now it's just perfect. Got the sun to the side of me there. Um, absolutely ideal. So I've just got to be careful. Dogs come bounding in with the camera gear. But um, apart from that, yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's not a bad spot, really. You know, you go to other places which is, is so deserted, don't hardly see anybody, and a dipper sees you, they kind of take flight. So, you know, it's one of those things, really. It's a bit of a toss-up, but, um, yeah. Been here about half hour now. It's yet to turn up. Had a wagtail go over, and then it landed, and then a dog came in and then flushed that one away. But um, there'll be other opportunities, I hope, and just got to be patient and wait and see what happens. currently got the dipper in real close um, I'm really low to the water at the minute so I've got some real nice camera to eye shots at the minute and I've got a nice bit of video too and he's just been fishing in front of me oh, awesome absolutely awesome nice bit of light as well superb hopefully it will be back oh it's back it's back 
Yes. Wow, Sparrowhawk just came in. I hope I caught that on camera. <laughs> wow, amazing. Well guys, moved location again. Tried to a different spot here. It's a little bit quieter, there's no um, public paths right next to this stretch so going to give this a go it's getting quite busy um, dogs coming down people asking what I'm trying to take pictures of we all know how it goes um, so I decided to move spots and just as I was sat here as you saw a moment ago that sparrow hawk came in now there's a it's an area here that's like got a nice little quite a, a nice pool which isn't a massive run of water coming through it's kind of and I think the sparrowhawk came in for a bathe or a drink um, typical sitting there having me lunch in it comes if I was lying down like this there's a chance I could have got a shot of it but uh, this is the way it goes but it was great to see it I sort of stood still completely still and kind of looked up and yeah it obviously made me and on it went but uh, so where it goes, but it was cracking to see such a fine looking sparrow hawk. Um, yeah, it's one of those birds that doesn't sit around for very long, but uh, yeah, great experience though. So guys, that pretty much concludes the uh, dipper session along the river today. About seven hours, I think. Um, but what a way to spend it, you know, along the river with the dippers. It's been great. I've covered quite a bit of an area really, but I've worked out that this position I'm on now and I've spent most of the day in, the dipper is always, always in there. With these every sort of 10, 20 minutes, it's back. So a really, really good spot. Just goes to show there, we do your recce work, just work out the best places for the dipper to fish. I spent a bit of time further up river. I was there for an hour and I had nothing. So uh, yeah, this is obviously its preferred spot, but I uh, really enjoyed it. Got some nice, um, freeze frame action shots there with water droplets got a few slow-mo shots bit of blurred water got one of it swimming wasn't particularly great but you know all in all i was really really pleased and i love spending time with these guys um, it's such a great location i'm knackered because it's just that water noise just relaxing yeah it's been superb so i'm gonna get back now and uh, charge up batteries i think i'll have a cup of tea and then I'll get some food on and have a beer. But uh, if you can give us a thumbs up and a comment, it's always much appreciated. And for those guys that may be tuning in for the first time, if you fancy giving the uh, channel a go, click that subscribe button and also click that bell to be notified of any new videos coming your way. But uh, from me, along the river on Exmoor, I'll see you all next time.